I'm going to do an exercise for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, I want to practice pre-selecting categories and forcing hands in those categories. I call this exercise Charleston Force. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here are all my strips. We're going to turn these upside down, mix them up, and pick three. Consecutive run. Two, four, six, eight. Singles and pairs. So we will force hands in those categories. We'll just say we're the dealer, so I'm gonna get 14 random tiles, and then I will create a mock Charleston. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've got three jokers, so I don't think a pair hand is going to be a good idea. No singles and pairs, because we'd have to throw away three jokers. So I'm thinking either consecutive run or two, four, six, eight. We do have a pair of sevens and a pair of eights. And if you notice here, we do have two, four, four, two, four, eight, four, but there's no sixes. I think we should leverage the seven and the eight and play something consecutive. So let's get rid of all those. We're going to focus on seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Anytime I'm working in mixed suits with consecutive run, I try to pick at least four numbers in a range. There's one hand on the card this year that actually uses five numbers in a range in mixed suits and that's the fourth hand down. So potentially we could play four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way from five, four, five, let's see, four, five, six. Maybe we could keep, we have seven, eight. So the four, five, six would have to be in BAMs. Let's keep the four. That way maybe we could play the fourth hand down. So let's keep those. And we can pass kind of a mixture here. Let's pass those right there. So I think consecutive run is what we should do here. Here's a six, so we'll keep that, and a nine. We've got three tiles to pass here, including a white dragon. Now I would not pass that. That would fit right into a year hand. I think I would give something up here. So the four, five, six, seven, eight, the four through, you know, the five, the five number option in mixed suits require pairs and we're missing a five bam here. I think six, seven, eight, nine is better because we can use all these jokers to fill the gap for the six dot and that'll free these tiles up for a better pass. So I'm thinking six, seven, eight, nine, and this would be the second hand down under consecutive run. If we change our mind with that six bam, maybe we could pick it up again and recover. So we've got a flower, a dragon. Here's a four bam. Let's just give it up. And the, and the red, we can give that up. Okay, so let's keep going. We're looking for a six dot, especially. There's another flower. So here now we have a one dot and a three crack and there's a white dragon. That's kind of risky to pass. So I'm thinking maybe we could use the sevens and pass those and play eight, nine and red dragon. We pass one. Maybe we could get that back in the Charleston. It's always good to keep an eye on the tiles that go around during the Charleston because you may get them back. So I'm thinking let's give up the seven 
and pass these three. There's another flower and another seven. So that's not going to be helpful and I'm not going to pass a flower. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pass the white dragon. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Okay, here are tiles we can pass. Now we're looking for a red dragon. So let's pass these three. Maybe we'll get that red dragon back. No red dragon. But we have four discards, and really five discards, because we can't use all the flowers. We only need two. But we can claim an eight, a nine, and then we could use the joker as our red dragon, or we could maybe even hold these for a seven crack and then play seven, eight, nine in all Kongs. This would be the fourth hand down. So we're kind of in between seven, eight, nine in cracks or eight, nine red if we could get the reds back. So if you would have done something differently on this one, let me know. But I think consecutive run for sure was a good way to go. Okay, let's see if we can make a two, four, six, eight and a singles and pairs work. I think we can make a two, four, six, eight work here. We might even be able to make a single and pair work. We have no jokers. Let's see if we could even do the two, four, six, eight pair hand. If we can pass all of these. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. So let's pass. Uh oh. We got to make a choice already because I don't want to pass like numbers. So if we have two, four, six, eight, we could maybe do the first two, four, six, eight hand, the second two, four, six, eight hand, in which case I want to keep the eight because that second hand uses pairs of eights. We could do two, four, six, eight with dragons. So maybe keep the four. Let's give up. Let's give up the, yeah, let's, let's give up the seven crack and we're going to have to kind of resolve this problem like numbers. Okay. we got a two and we've got an eight and we have tiles we can pass here. Let's go ahead and give up the four crack. Two, four, six, eight, right here. Okay, we got no keepers on that one. Let's pass these three. Ooh, green dragon. Well, let's keep that because there is that two, four, six, eight concealed hand with the matching dragon. Let's pass. Let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, dragon, pair eights. Let's keep the white and pass the green. Either way, it's going to be risky. Oh, look at that. So we don't need all that actually. Let's, let's pass these three. We need an eight dot. Look at that. We got it. Eight dot. Okay. Now we kind of have to pass the white dragon or pass blind. 
Um, I think because we're playing a pair hand, it's worth the risk. Let's get a full pass. Flower, that was a good choice. And now we have three tiles we can do for optional cross. Okay, we got the green dragon back as an option. I'll just put it over here. So we have two discards for a forced pair hand, which is really good. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. This would be, or actually we do have three discards right there. So this would be the second hand down under singles and pairs. We need a four bam and an eight dot, two, four, oh, and an eight bam. So four bam, eight bam, eight dot, three discards. That was actually really good. Okay, now we're gonna make a two, four, six, eight work again. Okay, two, four, six, eight, we're gonna make it work. Oh, that goes there. Okay, so two, four, six, eight. We're just gonna pull the twos, fours, sixes, and eights. There is one hand, oop, that goes there. There we go. So for two, four, six, eight, there's two, there are two hands that use dragons. So let's keep the dragon. And let's go ahead and try to, let's hold this three for joker bait. I think we're, we have enough discards that we can hold off on joker bait. So let's hold those and then let's pass one of each suit. Actually, those are all odds. Let's go ahead and let's see here. One, nine, either way, we're gonna be left with like numbers. Let's go ahead and pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We got a six, so we'll keep that. Keep all the two, four, six, eight. So now let's break up these sevens and nines. So here's a seven, nine, three. Or we could do a north in there. I'm trying not to be left with like numbers. Let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a four. And we can pass, let's break that up a little bit. We could do one, nine, three. Even if we did this, we'd be left with a three, nine. Let's go ahead and pass this. Maybe we'll get something to pass. Break that up. Oh, we got a flower. And now we have, yeah, that was not a good choice. I should have gone the other way. Well, we could break this up, but look, look at all this three, six, nine. <laughs> okay, so now let's pass Let's see, we need to break something up here because I do not want to pass like numbers. I think that's just as bad as passing a pair. So if we play two, four, six, eight, there's only one hand with flowers and we only have a pair of four bams. We need so much more here. Um, let's see here. We could give up maybe the four crack because we could play a two, four, six, eight dragon using this joker. Let's pass the four crack. So if we do one of each suit and mix it up a little bit like that, that's a good pass. Okay, we need some evens. There's an even, not the right one though. We need twos and eights. Okay, we got a flower. So we're between Two, four, six, eight with dots or two, four, six, eight with bams. 
We do have some tiles we can pass though, right here. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this. We did get a two band. So now we have two, four. Oh look, we could do six, eight, red, joker bait. Okay, let's just see. Two, four, six, eight, red. One, two, three suits. Then I would still hold this. This would be joker bait. So let's focus on two suits and that way we can pass safely because look at all these three, six, nines here. I don't want to pass all. Let's see here. Two, four, two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the four and break this up. Nine, four, three. Okay, so we're looking for either two, four, six, eight, and bam, so we can use the flowers, or an eight dot red dragon, two bam. Let's see, eight dot. And we finally have a little bit of relief here with some wins for a good pass. Okay, let's see if we can get something out of here. I don't think so. I don't remember passing any twos or eights and dots and the six there. And I don't think there's any dragons in here either. Yeah, we got discards. Okay, so this one was not as successful. Five discards. Actually, we have more than that because we have joker bait here, but we're still in between. We could still play two, four, six, eight in BAMs, but I would hold these and see if the two, four, six, eight in the mixed suit hand comes in. This would be the third hand down under evens. And then I would just start by discarding all these. I'd actually probably start throwing the wins first. So there's two, four, six, eight. That was a kind of a rough go there. Boy, these were some pretty rough Charlestons. I think we had one really good one, but that's why I like doing this exercise. It really helps to build confidence with decision-making and gives you lots of different scenarios to work through so that you can kind of desensitize yourself from the trouble spots. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.